We know we have these right-wing forces in the Republican Party. No question about that, okay? But look at what's, what's been happening over the last couple of months. We see that a number of those right-wing forces, those billionaires that support the Republicans, have been abandoning the Republican Party and moving to the Democrat Party. Now, they're not doing that because they're concerned about the fact that uh, Donald Trump uh, is a racist and a xenophobe. We know that that's been a, a, a central component of Republican poli uh, politics for quite some time. They are moving to the Democrats for other reasons. And one of the main reasons is that uh, Hillary Clinton and the Democrats are prepared to uphold and defend and advance the transnational agenda of the 1%. They're concerned that Donald Trump you know, may not be as stable and may not be as committed to upholding that agenda as the servant of the 1% Hillary Clinton. They're concerned about the fact that he has questioned uh, the role of NATO. He's questioned these uh, free trade agreements uh, and all of those kinds of, of, of issues and questioning of, those, of that agenda uh, becomes a real threat to the 1%. So we've got to understand what's really happening. So as these elements are moving toward the Democrat Party, then what we have to look at is that there is a new character of politics here in this country. That again, that clear distinction between the left and the right has disappeared because the right is now becoming a new right on the side of the Democrats. And that's very important to understand that. It's very important for black folks to understand that. Because what that means is that your uh, participation in Democrat pol politics, uh, your standing as a progressive, uh, means that if you have this new configuration in the Democratic Party, it means that those of us who are progressives, may even be radicals who choose to remain with the Democratic Party, that our influence is going to be even more uh, re reduced because the real uh, power resides with those folks with the money. And Hillary Clinton and the liberal bourgeoisie in the, in the Democratic Party are only responding to those kinds of individuals. And what that means also is that the kinds of concerns that we have as people who are looking for some kind of liberation, uh, our concerns are going to continue to be subordinated to the concerns uh, and, and issues uh, of the elite that would now be running uh, the Democratic Party. So what that means for us, my friends, is that we have to figure out how we have a politics that represents our interests. We have to ask the question, is it important to have an effective opposition to those two parties?